No papers, no pizza. That's the message in New York City. Let's play a little game here as we watch this video together. You tell me in the comments who's wrong. Is it this guy right here? This is the pizza shop owner. Is it the guy who's filming this whole altercation? Is it the patrons in the restaurant or the policy itself that's responsible for a lot of this? I want you to tell me who you think is wrong, and then we'll see if you change your mind after I reveal a couple of things I find very important to you. Let's go to the beginning. The family's gone into this pizzeria. They've sat down to eat, and now they're being asked for their vaccination card by this boss man. Here we go. So you're refusing to serve us? Are you refusing to serve us? So, you, so you're going to enforce segregation because we just told you that we're religiously exempt. You told us you had your vaccination. I never told you any of that. I, I would never tell you that. I would never say that. I would never say that. You have to leave. You don't have to leave. I, if you have the flyer, you have the flyer that you're supposed to put into your, your window, right? Okay, go and read it. Go and read it. Go and read it. And, and you tell me we're not leaving. Well, I'm not leaving. You guys can leave. I'm not leaving. Now we're going to meet the guy who's filming. Here he is. This is the guy that's filming all of this with his family. They're sitting down at this table, and they say we have a religious exemption. This all is very problematic for multiple reasons, but the biggest one, and maybe this has already informed your opinion, is going to come to light in just a moment. What happens now is this guy who's being kicked out of the pizza place for not having his vaccination card is about to try to rally everybody else in the restaurant to his side but it doesn't quite work out for him we, we just we just marched for this Every, everybody in here is okay with that everybody's in here okay with 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 setting up setting segregation in society everybody's watch this okay guy with that? Oh, we don't have our vaccine card, so now the kids can't eat. We can't eat. You guys are okay with that? This is the America you want to live in? Is this the America you want to live in? No, fuck you. You see? You're not American. That's why. You need to get the fuck out of here if you're not American. All right? Get the fuck out of here. Okay? This is America, and in America, everybody can eat. Everybody can eat in America. They're laughing right? at him. This is not segregation. This is America. You need to wake up. This is the kind of country you want to live in? Filming. You want to live in this type of country? Wow. Everybody's okay with this? And they didn't ask other people for their vaccination. Good for you, but some people over here were not. No, that's, that's not the point. That's not the point. That's not the point. I told you, I told you that we're religiously exempt. If you read the poster that you posted on your thing from the city, it says you cannot discriminate, okay? Read the poster. It says it on there. So what do we have going on here? A lot of strange things. For one, we have a white pizza shop owner asking for papers from a black family and then kicking them out of his restaurant when they can't produce them. And that's kind of strange optics-wise, is it not? I mean, let's just acknowledge the obvious. Then we had these patrons who are laughing, including this insanely lily-white couple here and this guy over here who's recording on his cell phone as all of this goes down. New York hipsters, the both of them. And you have the uh, guy across from him who responded with his middle finger as uh, he was uh, screaming to the restaurant about these particular problems. It's all very, very strange, but there's one thing you may not be thinking about. Hang on for that. From Newsweek, an unvaccinated man filmed himself refusing to leave a popular New York City pizza restaurant after an employee asked to see his proof of vaccination. The man identified on social media as Ray Velez posted the video on his Instagram page at Saving Sovereignty on Tuesday. In a caption, he complained about being refused service at Juliana's Pizza in Brooklyn. That's where this happened. New York City this week began enforcing rules requiring workers and customers to be vaccinated to go indoors at restaurants, museums, gyms, and other entertainment venues. So the, you saw the whole fallout go down, and some of the reaction has been on the left of uh, the aisle, left side of the aisle, like this. When unvaxxed dad screams at New York Pizzeria for not letting him in, customers react in the best way as they frame it up the way they want. 
But this just started, and this is what's important. This is, if you will, the key to the story. The city's new key to NYC mandate requires workers and patrons to provide proof of at least partial vaccination to go indoors at restaurants, museums, gyms, and entertainment venues. Non-compliance, this is the point here, non-compliant businesses get a $1,000 fine for the first offense, $2,000 for a second violation, and $5,000 per incident for subsequent violations, thereby deputizing all of these uh, restaurants that have been closed for a long time and have been beat down throughout the pandemic. They're deputizing them to ensure that everybody has a vaccine card with them in the restaurant. If they do not check this, as they did at this guy's table, they get fined thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So now you may look at it a little bit different when you see this manager approach the table. This manager isn't doing this because he's some nut job with whatever opinion. He's doing it because he's trying to keep his business open. And the only way to do it without getting fined out of operation is to go to the table and bother people like this. This is one of the major problems with the vaccine card mandates. You're going to run into so many issues just like this each and every time. And this guy now has to kick somebody out of his restaurant. And I say has to because he will be fined in a significant way, as I've just shown you, if he doesn't do it. It's a real problem. So I don't think that he's necessarily the bad guy in all of this. I think the guy filming blew up a little bit too much and started screaming the F word in front of his own kids. And I think all these people who were just kind of looking on and laughing and did not understand the situation that was playing out in front of them are probably among the worst in this whole operation. But this is going to be something we're going to see again and again and again. So who do you think, after all that, is in the right and who is in the wrong in this particular video that's going viral now? And is New York City going to have way more problems just like this depending on how long they keep this going on for. Let me know in the comments below. Hit that share button to spread the word and show your friends this video. I appreciate that greatly. If you're new here to facebook.com slash the news junkie, hit that follow button for videos just like this every single day. Over on youtube.com slash the news junkie, hit subscribe. Thanks to my supporters on both platforms who pay a little bit each month to keep these videos coming. I truly do appreciate that. Uh, as always, I appreciate you watching this video. I look forward to all of your comments, and I'll be in there interacting with you with the good, the bad, and the ugly. I appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you again real soon.